Well, I'm very uh, excited to have here with me Rola Tipsharani, and uh, she is a wonderfully connected educator. And so uh, I just love connecting with connected educators. She's a grade six teacher from St. Gabriel Catholic School in Ottawa, Ontario. And she's going to share with us a little bit about the connections that she has with her class. And so uh, here's just a little look at uh, her right here. Uh, and so grade six teacher, you can find her at uh, Rolat and learningprogression.blogspot.ca is her uh, uh, blog and where she shares a lot of her learning. And so uh, Rola, thanks so much being, uh, for being able to talk about connections-based learning with uh, myself and the, the other uh, people that are at workshops and listening on air. Uh, Rola, could you just uh, share with us just a little bit about your class and the things that you are doing with them? Uh, what we do is uh, we, we go through our inquiry process and it's all based on um, the drive of having always a learning partner with our learning, either uh, from our school or from the world or from our community, who can give us that empathy piece towards our projects and how we can make our projects um, reflect about the process of learning as well and what can we do for our community to inform them or get feedback from them. So we're doing a lot of the designing techniques as well as the integrative thinking. And the kids will speak to that now, how that integrative thinking, the community model can be used as well as the designing. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, if, um, if you have a microphone or something, if you can get a little closer to it, I am not able to hear that well. I can catch what you're saying, Rola, but maybe a little bit closer, uh, if that's possible. Uh, so. One of the great things that I caught wind that you're doing with your class is the connection with the retirement home. Uh, and uh, so I was so excited because I remember playing guitar at a retirement home and bringing my class. And, and, uh, but what you've done is something even, even greater. And I think you're incorporating technology into what you're doing. Uh, is there somebody that can share about how you serve the community? is going to take over. Unfortunately, we're having trouble a little bit with the mic and the uh, laptop today. So next you got a box of So we went to the retirement home to talk about parentage and we also asked them what they did so we could get a renovation project. Awesome. Well, thanks, Nick. Yeah. So helping them solve some of their problems. Is there any uh, particular problem that anyone can mention that uh, that you help solve? Yeah, we're moving up slowly. Unfortunately, we didn't put the line to store the speakers. Um, the person that we talked to said it was really hard for her to play Scrabble because her hands are very shaky and she wanted us to help her uh, make a board and Wow, that is amazing. Uh, awesome. Yeah, so I love how you're, you're finding some, you're actually problem finders, and not just problem solvers, but you're actually uh, connecting with people that have some problems and you found, found a problem like Scrabble. Hey, how can we help you with that? And you're helping out. That, that is awesome. Any other thoughts around the uh, connection with the retirement home? You know what? I didn't catch that. Could you get a little closer to the mic and, and share that? I'm excited to hear about what you had to say. I just couldn't hear it. Um, my name's Sarah. For our lady, she said she had trouble finding her bed at night because um, she couldn't find a light switch. So she 
Wow. Great. So uh, helping uh, somebody who was having trouble finding the light switch. Uh, and so you set up, uh, have you been able to get very far with that particular project, creating something that's going to help her? Or you just started out on that? We, we just went last week, but we are in the meantime learning how to use motion sensors and coding with it. So we have a kit called Hummingbird. And so we're in the process right now of learning how to use it before we can actually start designing. But they will be the end users for us. And so once we make our first prototype, we'll go and get feedback on it. And then we come back and iterate and continue with our project. Wow. Okay. Uh, so that's fantastic. So using Arduinos to be able to help people in the retirement home. And one of the things is uh, motion sensing lights. Uh, that's great. Uh, I, I do want to continue because you have so many projects on the go. You also have a global goals project that you are working on that some students are working on and you've been connecting with the UN. Is there anybody that could share just what's been going on with that? We have many committees and they're going to come one by one. They have organized themselves in different and so we'll start with Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi. Um, so for our group, we are doing um, an operation that helps out the Congo. And we got involved with this because um, a Mr. French came in and started talking to us about um, different problems that were happening in the Congo because he visited there. So we decided that we wanted to do something that helped them out so we could raise money for an orphanage that he was also talking about. So different groups are doing different like projects, but my group, we are doing a scavenger hunt. So pretty much it's to get like the experience and have empathy for different things that are happening in the Congo. For example, one of them is, uh, one of the problems is child soldier that's happening down there. So one of them is we are getting one of our group members to sort of like take them from their team that they have. And then they would play like a dodgeball game that represents like war acting like they're fighting. Wow, okay, so really creating that awareness of what's going on in the Congo uh, with a scavenger hunt. Hey, that's, that's fantastic, awesome. Uh, what are some of the other teams doing? Hi, Brianna. My group's idea was to build pencil cases for the orphanages in Congo. Um, this idea came to us because, like, even school supplies is hard, and some of the orphanages they have like, uh, I guess, tutors, like a school program. Yep. Um, none of them had school supplies, so obviously that would make it harder. Um, we like food hampers that we do at Christmas time. Each grade would have an assignment. Uh, select basic school supplies like pencils, crayons, and erasers, and pencil sharpeners. So that would go down to grade three, I guess. And yeah, we hope to pull these 75 So what I hear, Brianna, is that you're igniting some of the other kids at the school, and you're you're kind of bringing them on in this project and helping them become aware of what's going on in the Congo and then uh, having them provide some of these supplies that are going to uh, that you're going to send down there and help some of these students out is that correct wow okay that's amazing good on you thanks thanks so much is there anybody else ah here we go so my name is emma hi emma That's great. Now, uh, just a quick question about that. Was it uh, Mr. French that ignited this passion in you? Have you been able to make any connections with uh, people from the Congo at all to be able to 
uh, as you hand these uh, things off and the money off to be able to just make that uh, connection with them? Yeah, so he talked to us about the orphanage, and so we're going to be raising money for the orphanage, and then we're going to be giving it to him, and he's going to be giving it to someone he trusts from the orphanage. Okay, all right, yeah, and so you're learning a bit about that, that particular orphanage down in the Congo, I guess, eh? Right. Worried about the money, he didn't send money actually to read Right. Uh, did anybody else want to speak to their um, their connection with the UN and the Congo, or uh, could somebody talk with me about any uh, entrepreneurial projects with the banker? Yep. Wow. And so do you find that uh, when you have that connection with the banker, that, that real life connection, do you feel like you get your questions answered? You get your questions answered? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Awesome. So you work together as a team, you find uh, different roles for each person, and then uh, you're basically making your own company. And all the money goes to support, uh, is it Free the Children? Is that where the money is going? We've signed up to some of the Free the Children goals, and so we're committed to that as well. Wow. Uh, this is fantastic. Now, did I also catch, and I don't know if it's this group as well, but that you were producing some videos to help with incoming refugees. Is, is that this group as well? No, it's, well, uh, the other group so what yeah. we, uh, we, because they each what we did at the beginning of the part of the integrative thinking is we did so what kind of things we would like to change and so the other class the morning class came up with the refugee piece and so they did 360 degrees videos uh that have just been produced uh, actually last week and they've done some coding as well so we interviewed some refugee students and we were able to come up so what kind of strategies do they need as well here and so that we came up with a solution for the strategies from reading, writing in school, from being cold, adapting to the environment, to, to strategies to making friends, to having difficulty to, to understand, and uh, just day-to-day -day lives. So unfortunately, they're in the other class right now. And so we were on the weekend Saturday with 300 refugees, also the other class, and they took a whole bunch of games and things to really introduce to the students, to the young kids, and it was a, quite a learning experience because some of these kids haven't been at school for two, three years. They've been in refugee camps. I want to study in Syria. Wow. Uh, that's fantastic. And, you know, I'm really excited about what you're doing and also excited to hear how it all progresses uh, because you've got some great projects uh, on the go. Rolek, I'm uh, just going to finish up, but I just want to ask you, 
uh, for some of those people that feel like some of the educators feeling like, how do I get connected? Rola, she's a rock star, a connection rock star. How would uh, another teacher get connected like yourself? Maybe you could have uh, just finish this off with a, a couple of ideas about that. Uh, I think it mainly is really to look at your community and look at um, how you can fit that in uh, with your day-to-day uh, -day activities in class. So if you're doing social studies, you're doing history, you're doing science, anything that you can reach to the community because if the students don't have an audience or an end user to give them feedback, uh, it makes a huge uh, difference that they are actually working for a purpose. It's not just for themselves within the classroom. And so that reaching out, even if you're starting within the school community, like we start with 3D printing for our special needs students. So anything that you know gets them connected, even from class to class or uh, within your school board. So that importance is like the learning is going to an actual reality that is making a difference in the world. And it's and one thing we have to understand that it's a learning process and it does take time. So it's not going to happen overnight. And so that's part of the designing thinking and integrative thinking, um, having to use all these models and, and go through that journey. In the learning. Yes, definitely. Thanks for that advice, Rola. That is good advice. Just taking a look around and seeing, okay, well, what uh, what are the needs in my community? What uh, needs to happen around me? And to be able to uh, be inspired by that, share that with my students, and then just use the inspiration that the students have regarding that and the ideas that the students have, and to be able to uh, uh, just ignite that passion and see where it goes. So that that is fantastic. I just also want to share this uh, screen here. And that is um, just some of the things that you talked about in connection space learning, serving the community. Uh, when you talked about connecting with the retirement home, helping organizations like the UN, uh, global goals, also questioning experts such as uh, the banker and your entrepreneurial projects, and, and then really partnering with peers and uh, working on videos for incoming refugees uh, with your connection with the Congo. Uh, so some wonderful things that are going on. Rola, I really appreciate uh, you being able to share your story. And uh, thank you so much to your class. You guys were awesome. So <laughs> if I can give you an applause. You're amazing. And I look forward to hearing more about uh, these projects and the, the further stuff that you do. Thank you. Bye.